before we actually do begin, I want to acknowledge that we are hosting this event from the traditional, ancestral, and unceded territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh peoples. And I want to encourage all of you to read and understand the history of this land and the people who have taken care of it for thousands of years and what it means for us to be here. We're really lucky to be here. So Doris is actually going to go ahead and share a really useful link on the chat that can be very um, good for us to, to see how we can incorporate acts of reconciliation in our daily lives. So thank you for sharing that, Doris. For those that um, are joining us for the first time, I would like to um, share with you that VLAC is, stands for the Vancouver Latin American Cultural Center Society. And we are a nonprofit organization with the mandate of sharing a deeper understanding of Latin American arts and cultures. Our goal uh, is to establish the first cultural center for Latin American arts in Canada. So it's a very uh, big goal right here in Canada and your participation to these kinds of events um, are bringing us one step closer to our goal. If you still don't know about us, please visit our website. We'll also be sharing that link with you in the chat. Um, we actually have added your email to our newsletter when you register for this event. So you will be receiving news about our programming once a month. You're always welcome to opt out if anything. So today's format is going to be simple. I'm going to be leading a short uh, interview with Yaimel Lopez, who is with us uh, here today. I will also be inviting uh, you at one point uh, to participate in a, an activity of observation of Yaimel's work. You're welcome to, to participate or not. And then uh, towards the end of the call, Yaimel is going to walk us around his studio, his working space. And you're at that moment, you're all going to be welcome to um, unmute yourselves and, and, have, and make any questions. So as you listen to the live interview at the beginning of the call, please again, feel free to make uh, any comments uh, on the chat. As I mentioned before, this event is actually being recorded for our archives and it will be shared uh, on our YouTube channel. So if you feel inclined, please turn off your camera uh, if you do not wish to be part of the recording. And I will also ask everyone to uh, mute yourself for, for the first part of the call so that we can uh, listen to Yaimel properly. So again, we're so thankful that you're here with us today. Um, we're so happy to have Yaimel uh, here with us. Um, and we also want to acknowledge the support of the city of Vancouver, the government of British Columbia, and the federal government of Canada for their very generous support uh, for our programs. So, Anyways, you're here to learn about Yaimel, so maybe let's get that started. Um, before we speak to Yaimel, I want to give a very brief introduction of who he is. So Yaimel was born in Havana, Cuba in 1983. He graduated from the Institute of Superior Design, Instituto Superior de Diseño, in 2011. And so he has an extensive um, a trajectory uh, of being a designer, a cartoonist and illustrator at places like La Calle del Medio, Alma Matter Magazine, Clave, Op Salon, La Jiribilla de Papel, amongst others. So here in this black and white picture, you can actually see uh, a bird's eye view of um, his um, institute where he attended. And just a few uh, milestones here that I, are gonna be relevant to our call. Um, Yaimel had his first solo exhibition called Tremenda Impresión in 2017. He uh, was awarded the best poster of the year by the Poster Friends Club of Havana in 2018. And it's in 2019 when he moves here in May actually. And very quickly, uh, he gets um, really uh, integrated and welcomed by the arts community in Vancouver. And in 2020, uh, he's the one that designed the Vancouver Latin American Film uh, Festival poster, which you might have seen at some bus stops. Yaimel also participated in a group exhibition at the Vancouver Art Gallery in 2021. It's still ongoing, I believe. It's called Special Disorientations and Echo. And he also participated in a group exhibition at the Seymour Gallery called Roots Reveal. So the image that you see here um, in the back, you see a series uh, of watercolors and those were done by Aimel uh, at the Vancouver Art Gallery. 
So yeah, Mel, thank you so much for being here. Um, what's really great is that you actually recently came back from a trip to Cuba. So it's so great that um, some of us were <laughs> able to, to go home. I think that's also a great fortune uh, in the times that we're living. And I'm wondering, what was that like to be home after almost three years, I believe? Or, or do you feel like home is Vancouver now? And thank you. Thank you for being here, Yamen. Yeah, thank you, Milad, for inviting me. Thank you, uh, Bilak, for this opportunity. Yeah, after almost three years without being my home country, Cuba, um, I had a chance to come back and see my people, my families, um, my friends. It was a big, big experience. It was beautiful because after so long, <laughs> I felt connected again with my roots. I mean, Canada is my, my, the place where I live, my home now, but my roots are in Cuba. So being there with my friends, uh, spend, time with, spend time with them, with my family, was um, something that I really, really was um, needed, even though I, I didn't realize. Uh, but when, once I get there, I understand oh, how important it is to, to be in your place and, and feel that energy. So yeah, for sure, it was, was beautiful, it was, uh, was a great experience. I had a chance to work my, with my friends again, uh, the way we used to, because we were very active when I was in Cuba. As a group, we were very active. We spent a lot of time uh, working together, learning from each other, doing experimentation in the art uh, field. Um, being there and be able to do it again was something that I really, really love. <laughs> so what are we seeing here, Emel? I feel like there's a progression with the photos that you share with me. Um, so we see you uh, here with one of your illustrator friends and you're, are you designing something on those pieces? Yeah. No, we were, we were um, doing a game. I don't remember the name of the game. It was like if someone have to tell you something and you have to make it very quick uh, drawing and someone else has have to come after and um, identify what you're doing. It was a very weird um, game, but actually we were like having beers there. So <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, very happy. So, yeah, you know, the game didn't work pretty well, but we have fun, so that was matter. <laughs> it's so great to, to be able to reconnect. And and this location, I see some um, etchings in the back. Is this uh, a workshop? No, actually, that, um, that friend of my uh, parents' uh, house, but um, his dad is um, he's an artist too. So that he has all his, the walls on his house full of his work. So, yeah. I see, that makes sense. And here you are with the same friends. Yeah. And the kitchen and think... with those guys. <laughs> it was beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> you look, you yeah. look like you're ha you've had a great time. And... Yeah, of course. That's my, my, you know, my everyday life, used to my everyday life, surrounded by friends, having fun working together. So, yeah. <laughs> so it seems like in a sense you've been able to replicate that in Vancouver somehow like you it, for, for, mm. for me it took it took me a long time to to feel like I was part of a community um mm -hmm. but you you've been you've been really good at that how did that happen I, yeah I, I mean yeah it's, I guess so I, I'm a very easy going person so for me it's very easy to connect with people and so but yeah being here in Vancouver I mean I'm still surprised of the the way things have been going with me because um, since I came first year, I had a chance to go to a meeting of a poster party at the Vancouver uh, Latin American Cultural Center. So there I started like connecting with the, with the community and with the environment, Latin American environment around. So it was the, the very, very, very first um, connection or interaction with, uh, with um, the environment around. So it was beautiful. That gave me the confidence in order to keep uh, pushing myself out, out there and connect with people. So yeah. <laughs> That's true. I can imagine, and like knowing knowing you um, for 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 a bit, I know that you're very um, enthusiastic and energetic. Mm -hmm. So obviously, that mm -hmm. kind of energy calls that same energy back. So yeah, you can I can definitely see how that happened. Yeah. And just also, I have to yeah. Please go ahead. No, please no, no. go ahead. I, I I have to honestly. I have to also give the, the credit to uh, Rocio, my wife. She's very involved in the community and she always pushing me, go out there, go, go, <laughs> meet new people, do this, okay, I, you know, I do it. <laughs> yes, I can, I can attest to that, Rocio has great energy. You <laughs> can see yeah. how, yeah, she, she definitely is a great influence. Um, and sorry, just going back to these images, um, they kind of start, you kind of start with a small group of people. And I don't know, it feels like um, the word got out there that you were there and then you ended up having this sort of, um, Big reunion, is that what happened? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, if you go back to the, the image, yeah. 
the, I mean, this guy, this guy in the in the corner, um, he decided to. He said, "Oh yeah, man, let's make a party." But just a few friends, you, me, because of COVID, you know, my my wife. Okay, okay, okay. But once I get there, I realized that everybody was there. Oh, I mean, I'm scared <laughs> because I have to come back to Canada. I have to do the PCR test. I can get COVID. But you know, this guy, man, we have been many. Years, I mean, we need uh, almost three years without seeing you. So we have, we want to have party with you. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> so, yeah. What's a risky time about beautiful times? Okay. <laughs> I can see that. And it also seems like wherever you have that um, sense of community, yeah, there's also that incorporation of doing what you love, right? Which is uh, print and illustration. So can you tell us what we're looking at here? Are you yeah. is it the same location or is this somewhere else? No, no, no. That's very important place in Havana because it's, that's is um the Tail Serigrafia Clenepo Tocatero is like a screen printing shop. Clenepol Tocatero is that we're gonna talk about that place um later, but that place in particular is very connected with the arts community in Havana, with the design. Uh, community. So um, I started doing screen painting with them. I Everything that I know about screen painting, uh, they told me. So that's a place that I really, really love. Uh, the, the community there, the, the people who work there are amazing. They are very, very humble. So I have, uh, I mean, that place is really half a place in my heart and always come back to, to that place every time. You know, I come back to Cuba after three, three years, but when I was living in Cuba, uh, from time to time, I, I go visit them, I went to visit them, to talk to them, work with them, because it's a very important place. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Yes, yeah. we will look into some of the work that you did there as well. Yeah. And so here are some other images of those great times. Yeah. And so for yeah. um, people that are um, here joining us for the first time, maybe um, seeing your work for the first time, I would actually like to invite all of you present here, and this is very optional, to take a look at some of um, Yaimel's work. And if you have like your phone next to you or um, maybe on your computer, um, your notepad or pen, pen and paper, um, I invite you to take, take a good look at what I, I'm going to be showing you on the screen and just write down some of the words that, or thoughts or feelings that come to mind when you see Yaimel's work. So we have uh, one minute for this activity. Um, I'm going to start uh, scrolling through the images. And again, you're welcome to this part. You're, I think everybody can do it. At the end, you're welcome to share or not um, your observations, whether that be uh, by unmuting yourself or uh, sharing on the chat. So why don't we just give it a go? Maybe I will actually do it as well while I flip because I wish you never know this. I propose activities, but I don't do them. All right, so let's, <laughs> let's give it a go. Um, the reason why why uh, we're doing this is um, just to to I guess understand how uh, effective uh, that male's illustration is, and just for you to first uh, experience the work on your own before we tell you any any anything else. All right, so here are the few uh, the first two images. So just take a look, everyone, and, and um, again make make some notes uh, on your phone or on your pad and just things that come to mind, anything. So I'm gonna... I, I just wanna note, Mirette, if I can, that um, say, tell, them, tell everybody like, you can, what you will see here is part of my uh, first moment as a cartoonist, um, illustrator. So after that, you know, what I'm doing right now is like more um, visual art, you know, uh, yeah, painting. It's very different. Yeah, but it's basically, yeah, it's different, yeah, uh, yeah. It's evolution, right? It's an evolution process. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Okay, I'll scroll through the next ones. So this is also part of that same, uh, I guess, period of work. Mm -hmm. That was just um, because when I finished the school, the design school, um, I started working um, on computer. Uh, most of my work was done, was done in computer using Photoshop. Um, the pencil, um, digital pencil. So yeah, it's basically what, what you see here. Perfect, thank you. Okay. I'm writing some keywords as well. All right, this is actually fun. Okay, so the third uh, group of images are on screen now. So again, uh, for everyone in this call, um, you're just welcome to write down uh, on the side, whatever, Whatever 
you see whatever comes to mind, thoughts, feelings, just ideas. Yeah. Don't be your... shy, don't be shy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll end up writing songs here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll flip through the, the next one. Yeah, I, I, yeah, the, the word, um, I it is say there, Asere. Asere is a Cuban slam. Um, it's like, Asere in Cuba means like brother. Um, so when you see someone, I mean, people who really connect each other, they, they call each other Asere. Sometimes people on the street, even without knowing, you say, oh, Asere, blah, blah, blah. You know, that's very Cuban slam. And that was part of the project called Dale Lengua, like, I don't know how to translate it in, in English. How, how could you say Dale Lengua? Dale Lengua, does that mean to, um... To uh, speak about something? Or, yeah, like a talk too much or something like that. But, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very Cuban, you know, yeah, it's them, Dale Lengua. Okay. So that was a project for the um, Art Biennale in Cuba. So that place, this screen painting shop, um, called a few artist designers to do a screen painting about the Venezuelan. So that's the one I, I pick, Acere. Uh, well, it's basically two hands holding each other out with a heart, right? Like I said, it's something like very from your heart when you call us, when you call, call someone else, I said it. Oh, very, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And this is part of my most recent work here in Vancouver doing a screen painting. Yeah. Okay. I think we have just a few couple more for um, whoever's participating in the exercise. So again, just any loose thoughts. There's no right or wrong answer here. Yeah, yeah, so uh, yeah, whatever you, you feel the work is about, let me know, yeah. So that work was part of the Vancouver Visual uh, Intention Echo exhibition, which is, which is in this um, last month, made it finished, yeah. It just finished? Yeah, it's finished. So yeah. yeah. This is a, one of it. the, yeah, the drawings for the color that was in the exhibition. Yeah. Same, same body of work. Hmm. All right, so I think this is the last one. Yes, okay. All right, so whenever you're all ready and you feel like sharing, um, I'm going to invite you to share your observations, just share those loose words or um, phrases or thoughts that you might have. Um, you're welcome to either raise your hands and unmute yourselves um, or also share uh, on the chat. I don't have visibility on the chat. Let me see how I can, there, we have the chat there. Okay, so we have uh, someone saying editorial illustration. Yep. I'll share some of my words that, you know, I, I was just, mm -hmm. so that if nobody feels like sharing yet, that's okay. Um, yeah, so I, I definitely, as you were also sharing, uh, Yaime, like I saw uh, diversity, right? We saw many different uh, types of um, skills and techniques and mm -hmm. also interests. Um, those are kind of the words that I that I wrote. I don't know if anybody has anything else to share. Yeah, I think Lily, uh, yeah, Lily, Lily says something like editorial illustration. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna talk a little bit about it. Um, yeah. Um, as I said before, um, as an illustrator or yeah, as a graphic artist. Um, I'm always with illustration. So since I finished the school, the design school, uh, I try, I jump into you know, illustration industry. I try to be a professional illustrator, I try to connect with, trying to connect with uh, into the arts, uh, magazines. So I was uh, involved in a beautiful uh, adventure called La Calle del Medio, which uh, we'll talk about, we're gonna talk about that later, uh, that, right? La Calle del Medio. Uh, yes, yes, but but if there's anything you would like to share, now, yeah, Matt, please go mm. ahead. I was just putting the first image because someone asked um, to see okay. it. Sorry, okay. didn't mean to distract you there. Um, okay. Someone missed the first image. Mm. But um, if people don't feel like sharing right now, that's completely understandable. Mm. We'll we'll try to keep an eye on the chat if at any mm. moment uh, anybody else wants to say anything else. And again, as a reminder, um, we will have uh, a Q and A session towards the end. Mm -hmm. um, so. 
Well, we'll just leave it at that. That was just an invitation. If anyone wants to share anything at any point, that's um, okay. But maybe, yes, maybe we can jump right into it. Um, yeah, Mel. So um, as I was mentioned before, like there's, we see illustration, we see drawing, uh, graphic design, cartooning, screen printing, right? As you mentioned, there's been a, a sort of progression, obviously. And, and I guess one of my questions to you was if um, these art forms and techniques are indissociable for you, are they all um, a part, part of each other or do you, do you see mm -hmm. them as separate? Uh, uh, yeah, for, for me, I mean, the, the, the link between all of them, in my case, is drawing because I really, really, I need to draw. I'm a drawing guy. So even though screen printing today, not many people use um, the drawing process, the traditional process, they uh, use the digital way, which is awesome, but I need to draw. So um, the, uh, of course, to illustrate, to, to do graphic design, to do cartoon, you have to, to draw. You have to make drawings, but when I do a screen printing, I, I my approach to the technique is very traditional. So I draw. I also do my design my in, on the screen. I draw in the time. So it's basically uh, the drawing has a connection uh, between all of those techniques. So yeah, um, as I said before, I'm a drawing guy. I need to draw the time. I need to to do it. It's something <laughs> that I can I can control. So yeah, I do illustration, graphic design, cartoon, screen printing, or by drawing, <laughs> it's basically that, yeah. Perfect, so yeah, so going back to um, some of those spaces that we, um, you mentioned before on this screen right now, we see like this uh, beautiful, it also looked like a gorgeous day, this beautiful mint um, kind of arched um, entrance. And yeah, I was wondering if you could tell us about this place. Uh, yeah, what, wow. what is the significance of this place for your, for your car yeah. career? Yeah, that, that, that's, that place um, is an experiment. I mean, that's a very old house I mean, in Belado. Belado is the, 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 city, the main area in Havana, one of the most popular um, areas in Havana. And that was, that's a house, basically someone lived there. And we, one day we decided, we are, me and my friend decided to, to make a studio, but not just a regular studio, it's also a gallery. We decided, okay, let's do it. Let's try to make a living as an artist, selling the work we do, showing the showing case the work we do, bring people to the gallery so we can have like a very active um, artist connection like with the with the public, which is very usual here. But in QA, sometimes it's, it's complicated because of the lack of space, of nothing like that. So we went to that person and asked, you know what? What about if you pay your rent? And that person gave give to us, gave to us the living room of, uh, of her house. <laughs> was, yeah. So basically we set up the studio gallery in her living room. The person, the name is um, Rosa Elena, which is an amazing lady, amazing person. So we end having a very, very close, almost family relationship with her. So every day, one of us sometimes, all of us uh, used to go to that place to take care of the gallery work sometimes there, sometimes like I spend a day there waiting for people to come. So yeah, the experiment didn't work very well because at the end we have, we have to close because of the lack of visitor, but still it was the beginning of La Ure Studio, which is right now a very small studio located in Old Havana, but that was the beginning, so, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you to Rosa Elena for allowing yeah. this. And is this, is this the inside? Yeah, that's the living room. <laughs> the house so you can see the door there she she put this this um i mean this um this courting i guess so she, yeah she closed it um she used to have the family life in the back of the house <laughs> and we took over the the living room but it was it was amazing we were like we were um seven artists um working there uh bringing people there to show their their work doing everything there so it was beautiful beautiful experience well, if, we spent anyone... two years there if anyone listening has a, a living room to spare, that would be great too. <laughs> we, we need uh, artistic spaces in Vancouver. <laughs> Love it. And there's another there's another space. So again, mm -hmm. we see these large, beautiful yeah. uh, arches. Mm -hmm. What about yeah. this place? What, what is this place? This, that's the enter of the uh, Nebo screen printing shop. That, that play was created, I think, in the 70s, in the 80s, I guess. I don't remember, the 80s, yeah. Um, the important thing about this place is it's very, very encouraged. I mean, that place encouraged to artists and illustrators and designers to 
take over that place and do a screen meeting there and work there. It's it's amazing person. It's amazing uh, place full of amazing person. Um, the, the I mean the, the interesting part about this this place is that it was created in the edit for many of the greatest Cuban artists uh, uh, those days. And uh, artists like Robert Rochenberg or uh, Julio Lepar were involved in the creation of that place. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was that place or that space has like a story of amazing artists coming together, working together, and they still have that um, you know atmosphere. So it's easy, it's very easy to go there and get involved in that beautiful uh, space uh, full of energy, positive energy, and to work as an artist there, yeah, develop your work. So yeah. I'm still going there, and you see the, the photos. I come back when I when I went in Cuba. Um, I know everybody, all my friends, everybody visiting that place, working there, everything they have. So it's beautiful. So that's definitely a place to check out whenever yeah. anyone here yeah. goes to La Habana. Yeah. Taller for de fotografía, sure. René yeah. Puerto Cartero. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You have to. You take guys have to go there. there. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful place. Makes you like <laughs> people event. are so nice. People are so nice. Very, very welcoming there. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> um, all right. So before in that uh, exercise we uh, we were doing, you shared um, what this uh, is. This a digital illustration? No, no. That's a screen printing. That's a screen um, print. Yeah. I mean, that's the digital version, but it's a screen printing. Um, yeah. And this is one of the works that you did in this workshop. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, okay. And so again, uh, here is Acere, meaning Acere. brother. Brother, my guy, you know, this is very Cuban slum, very, very slum, but it's beautiful. <laughs> it is beautiful. I, I love yeah. how you brought together the, the handshake, <laughs> which um, not, we can't do that anymore, right? But there's so <laughs> much to the handshake. Um, I mean, I can imagine, like, I feel like, that the handshake for some guys in Latin America is a little bit like the hug for girls. It's mm -hmm. this kind of moment um, of complicity. And mm -hmm. I love how you put it all um, in the heart, like very anatomical heart, right? Like not our mm -hmm. symbolic uh, <laughs> heart. And that kind of movement coming out, that's really cool. Like there's, there's a lot going on there. There's a lot of force. Very cool. Thank you. All right, so we talked a little bit, we saw one of your earliest works um, and I, I completely understand how, um, you know, at times we all want to separate ourselves from the first things that we did in our early career. But, you know, mm -hmm. when I was looking at your work, I became really curious because it seemed like the um, humorismo gráfico cubano, which I'm not sure how to translate this into English to something maybe like political editorial cartoons. It's a yeah, close fit translation. Um, I was just really curious and I was hoping that you could give us an insight into what the role of that, um, of Omurismo Grafico Cubano is uh, in Cuba. Um, I guess specifically when you were making it. I don't know if it still has the same force today. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not an art historian, so I, I can dig in, the, in that um, particular thing, but I mean, the cartoonistic or gráfico cubano is one of the, I would say, of the main wave of the Cuban uh, art have been developed through time. It's, I mean, the story is huge. So in my case, I have very close connection and very, um, you know, deep connection with cartoonists or humorismo gráfico cubano because when I was in the second uh, grade in, my, in the design school, that friend of my uh, was creating um, an, a space in, the, in a magazine called La Calle del Medio, the main street. Um, so that this space was called La Ubre. You know, I don't know how to say La Ubre in English. Can you help me with that? Um, La Ubre? I, so it's, is it the part of the cow where the milk yeah, comes yeah, from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any, does anyone know the, hmm, I do not know, but it's yeah. that part of the cow. Yeah, that's <laughs> one of that part. So the idea was to take the young people that were doing cartoonists or humorismo gráfico in Cuba and put it in that place, in that magazine that every month, every month showcased the work that that young generation was doing. So basically we had the chance to do every, every month uh, one of more than one drawing for that magazine 
And the thing is that we printed full color, which is in Q or something particular, mm -hmm. um, very yeah exciting because the cartoon in Cuba used to be printed in black and white. So with Akai and Medio, we had a chance to do it full color. So that was amazing. We had a chance to connect with people to talk uh, uh, of what was going on in the world and in Cuba every month in that particular uh, section in the magazine. Yeah, full color, so it was amazing. We create like a group of people, very um, in interesting group of people, creative people. Um, many of many of us uh, these days are part of the biggest or the most important or most influential cartoonists around the world. Many of them uh, grew up in that uh, particular job movement. Yeah. Mm. Thank yeah. you, Emil. And just to um, just to clarify that for our audience as well. So yeah. La Ubre is a physical space, like your organization. Mm -hmm. And in it, La Calle del Medio publishes? Or... Yeah, it's a magazine. It's not, it's not anymore. I, the, the, the magazine um, stopped being printed, but used to, yeah. I see. OK, well, thank you. Thank you for yeah, yeah. satisfying my uh, our historian curiosities there. Mm -hmm. I know that there's another art historian in the in the in the mm -hmm. call, so if you might be interested as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and so for those that just joined us recently, uh, at the beginning of the call, um, I mentioned how Yaimed moved to Vancouver in May 2019, and how very soon after moving here, he received uh, great support from the artistic community here. So bravo, everyone. <laughs> and I was wondering, I mean, just for the people that have just joined us as well, and or to complement anything you probably didn't share before is, um, yeah, what was that experience like? So you mentioned you approached a few organizations like, like VLAC, uh, I'm guessing others. Uh, you also mentioned that um, your wife played a big role. Um, but I was hoping just to, to hear from you because there are, um, there are more and more uh, Latin artists uh, arriving into our city. So I feel like um, sharing your experience would be would be very helpful. Yeah, yeah thank you, Mila. Yeah, that's a, I mean, this question is very important because um, I mean, it is known that for artists sometimes it's very difficult to talk about themselves, right? So it's important for artists to show themselves to the public, put themselves out there. So in my, in my case, I mean, what happened was I, I, I started to trying to connect with the community, trying to go out there using social media, and trying to connect with people in many ways, in the many ways um, that you know places like this, like this can give it to, to artists. So at the end, all those uh, work that I was doing gave me some resource, right? So just thought I just I started having some feedback, some important people start uh, connecting with me, trying to in, in, inviting me to show my work in the exhibition. So it's basically that it's, it's about to, to show who you are, to show uh, the work you do and why you do it. That's important. I mean, sometimes it's, it's tough for artists to talk about their work, they, what they do, but people should know what you do and why you do it. So it's, it's easier for them to understand who you are as a creator. I mean, it's, it's simple. So yeah, for Latin American artists who immigrate to places like this, knowing, doesn't, don't know the, the country, the culture is important guys to just show up, open your door, say people, I'm here, this is what I do. If you have any questions, ask me, <laughs> simple, you know, simple. Make things okay. easier for people. Yeah, make things easier for people. <laughs> Thank simple. you, Yemen. Um, yeah. I also, it also reminds me um, of a collection, like highlight collection in uh, on your Instagram profile. Also for, for those who are not following uh, Yemen yet, I highly recommend you do. He has some really cool um, hi highlights. Um, and, and so one of, in one of your highlights, I think you have a collection of what art is or what, yeah, what art represents to you. And I think you share things like art being, being risky. Is that what you said? Like, mm -hmm. and, and relating to what you're just saying now, like putting yourself out there, that's, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's a, a risk and it's hard. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Right? It's hard. But, but, um, but, but yeah, but it's a, it's a duty, right? As a creator, you have to, I mean, what is the meaning of of doing your work and, and keep it by yourself doesn't have any sense to me. You have to show they're out there. Um, if someone connect with that work, it's perfect. It's about that, right? Connect, connect with people. So, yeah. Yes, Simple. and yeah. as, as a very, very small part of the audience, I, I highly appreciate um, all of those creatives sharing their work because 
um, me not being not producing work, not being a creative, I it, it plays a, such an important role uh, in my life. And I know that even for, for the people in this call or, or listening to this recording, I'm sure that you um, you also relate, right? We we want to to see what you're doing um, and hear about it. So so thank you, Yaimel, and all the other creatives yeah, that are. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's not about be, it's not it's not about being perfect. Sometimes people get so frustrated about trying to do perfect thing. It's not about that. It's it's about do something. You know what I mean? At the end, you do every day a little bit, and you you have something through time. But if you don't do anything, I mean, nobody's perfect. Don't, Come on, it's not about being perfect. Just show who you are. You know what I mean? Do it. <laughs> yeah, do it. <laughs> Love it. Thank you, Emma. So yeah, so just just sharing again, um, kind of in depth. Um, this is your latest uh, body of work that we see behind the the tree installation. So these are watercolor works. How, how many were there? Were there uh, twenty? Yeah. Twenty. Yes, that's um, that's quite a. Quite a production. Yeah. When when did mm -hmm. you start making these? And and also um, really interested where the images are coming from. Yeah, I'm um yeah, thank you. Um, in 2019, yeah, when I when I yeah I came to Canada, I late in 2019 I found um I found a, a, a box full of photos of Rocio, my my wife, travels around the world. But many of those photos were took in Africa, so I realized. I mean, how the experience in Africa shape her as a human being, you know, they, you know make uh, um, a big, huge impact in the way she, she's living and the way she think and the way she see life. So I'm still working on that um, memories. So I decided to, from that point on, start uh, working on memories, not just her memories, but also my memories, uh, because of course, what we live is, I mean, shape, uh, make who we are, right? So. Basically, that the, the work that I was exhibiting in Bank Gallery was a, was a body of work that I was doing during 2020. I spent the or 2020 working in that city of, of work and I have the chance to uh, um, join part of that series in the Port Gallery. Yeah. So, yeah, Emil, for example, um, just again to, to show. So, mm -hmm. here we see that installation, and here's an example of one of those works. Um, mm -hmm. They're actually quite large, and these are watercolors. It's actually it's mixed it's media. Mixed media. Yeah, it's watercolor, um, um, drawing uh, pencils. Um, yeah, so sometimes even acrylic. But yeah, it's, it's mixed media. Yeah. And and again, uh, for example, the the image, the composition that we see here. Um, you say that you're working with memories, like your, um, of course, those uh, photos that your wife took in, in Benin, um, mm -hmm. they, they highly informed uh, these works. Are they, are, are, the, are the final works, uh, in a sense, a representation of the photos? Like, do we, do we have a photo that looks like this or um, were there some manipulations in that whole memory aspect? Yeah, yeah, it's a, um, yeah. Every 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 drawing is a collage <laughs> because I took from every for many photos and I make my own composition based on many photos. So yeah, it's basically that. And yeah, that photo doesn't it's, it's, it's doesn't exist. It's basically a combination of many. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, I love that. Yeah. That's so cool. Do you happen to know what this is right here? Yeah, that's that's um, I mean that's um production of the um a big stone that I that I see on um, one of the photos. And it's very interesting because um, that big stone was in the, the, in, the, in the church, based on the church, and was asking my wife about it. And she was explaining uh, the meaning of that stone in Benin. So it was very connected with the Cuban Afro Cuban religion. religion. And that's uh, Elegua, it's a representation of Elegua, it's a small saint in Cuban Afro Cuban religion. So I want to put it there. It's like, okay, it's the connection between Benin and the landscape and the way some things in Benin looks like Cuba based on the photos that uh, Rocio took. So it's okay. What's the connection right, that I was trying to, 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 to make between her memories and you know, my memories from Cuba? Yeah. I love it. Thank you. So um, I do want to be mindful of time and leave room for the studio visit. I'm just going to um, just quickly uh, flip through these images um, of some, some graphics that actually some of us, well, I, I saw them uh, at bus stops around Vancouver especially the one on the right, I'm not sure about the one on the left, 
and and perhaps some someone else in this call had seen them. So this was this was your work. Uh, for you made the posters for um, 2020 and 2021 for the Vancouver Latin American Film Festival. And I think we see again that um, that interest in mixed media, that interest in uh, in collage as well. Um, you really do great work with posters. Mm, so. Thank you. Is there anything that you would like to to add about um, this? Actually, I was curious, if I may, um, about the composition here. So we definitely see some sort of, um, I guess, like amalgam of a sort of face, but that face is composed of many different uh, mm -hmm. parts. And yeah, I was just, perhaps you could tell us a bit of where all these pieces are coming from. Yeah, it's, that's basically that's a that's um version of the piece that I created just. Um, coming to Vancouver uh, and I posted on Instagram and so on. Well, I mean, um, um, Bill of Soy and said, hey, you know what? For the poster, I would love you to do something like this, but more connected with the um, Latin American culture. So basically what I tried to create was like this mix of different um, races, um, you know, motif from like you know, the um, plants, uh, the Vancouver, the, you know, the indigenous palette. Here, you know, it's a mix of Latin American motif, I guess. So, yeah. Love it. I try to do something very, yeah. That really represents yeah. how I feel as a Latin <laughs> person. I do feel like I'm a mix out of many different um, histories. And again, these are just some images to show um, some of the recent work that you've done uh, here in Vancouver. Um, and so let's look at the time. I'm sure like people have questions. So I'm just going to skip to the part where um, maybe you can show us around your studio and see what your workplace looks like, if that's all okay. right. And then if we have time, we can come back to these images. And yeah. so I am going to stop sharing my screen if I figure out how to, how to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, like this. And I will stop sharing. And so now, if um, if if um, if if people can actually change their view, uh, so Zoom has this icon uh, at the top right, and you can change uh, view to speaker or to gallery. And if you change it to speaker, um, we'll be able to see Yaimel's uh, studio um, on a larger uh, space. And, and I will let you kind of take it away, Yaimel. And please, anyone at any moment, if you would like to to ask any questions about like what you see in his space or his tools, yeah. please, please go ahead and do that. So we're, ready. we're ready. Yes, we're ready for the, for the Okay. Okay. Right. Um, yeah, I decided to, to make my apartment into a gallery. So I'm gonna <laughs> start from, okay. This is my, my desk, like, yeah, this is my desk here, uh, my sketchbook here, what you see here is up, sorry. So can, this is like clamps that I used to put my screens to, to do a screen printing, computer. So here. So, so on, uh, on that desk, I meant, sorry, just to, um, just yeah, to kind of go yeah. back on the desk, we see um, like a cutting board because you're using, so you, are you, yeah. so you're doing yeah. like actual collage as well. And like, we see kind of everything there, like your, your tools, <laughs> your computer. Just, yeah, I just, this is this is um this uh yeah my pencils um yeah my cutter because I cut a lot of paper so I need to cut a uh, mat <laughs> the sketchbook yeah so I'm gonna I'm gonna jump to this this is a uh, the uh, this is a wall with two of the screen paintings mm -hmm. here yeah I don't know if you can see this this is a work from a, a band in Toronto called. Battle of Santiago, so it was an illustration that I made for them. Uh, I have here some of my, of my work. This is a monotype that I made in Cuba, like a, maybe three, maybe five years ago. So I have it here, another one here. Mm, yeah, more work on the, <laughs> the world. This is, uh, this is the original drawing from for the, for the poster for the one called yeah here so it is. How, did, how does that work so you did um you did this you did this um drawing and then mm -hmm. you, i guess you photographed it and then that's yeah. how they were and able to, to made a design yeah put a text on yeah yeah 
Very so this cool. is another illustration from Cuba. Mm. Two more illustrations. Are these like pre uh, pre Hispanic? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that's this. Uh, yeah, that was for yeah, yeah, for um, a mega city in Cuba. Uh, they um, they asked me to illustration about the Latin American pre Columbian pre Columbine. You know, yeah, culture. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a personal play that I have been working on. It's uh, a few faces, random traces, uh, doing color. So yeah, it's an ongoing project. I haven't finished. So I, I'm gonna jump to the to the main door. So when, when I come into my uh, apartment, I open the door. I like to see this. So it's on a screen printing. And what you see here is another screen printing from Cuba. <laughs> right here. Yeah. Reminds you of home. Huh? It does it remind you of home when you when you come in? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is Clyde. It's like oh. dog we are taking care of. Oh crazy dog. <laughs> yeah. You're kind of like, what are you doing? <laughs> are you crazy walking around? <laughs> <laughs> so this is I have here, I have to set up yeah, so you can see. This is two of the, um, the screen that I used to do a screen printing. Here. Very nice size. So I'm gonna show you now uh, all the kind of the body of work that I have in my portfolio. Some screen printing from Cuba. You can see here. Wow. Yeah, screen printing from Cuba. See. Yeah. So that's the one you had in your at your entrance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the one. <laughs> What else I don't have here? Yeah, more screen printing. This one I just brought from, uh, oh, from Cuba that. this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that like a raven? Yeah, or... exactly. Yeah, exactly. Corn. With a corn. Yeah. I miss corn. I, I really wish we had better corn in Vancouver. Uh, and this is other portfolio with some of my drawings. This is the kind of work that I'm doing right now. It's more painty. It's so this on the. Are, are these the ones that were exhibited at the Vancouver? No, no, no. This is a new. No. This is a new body of work. Okay. And I, I'm gonna show you some of the the ones in the, the gallery. The the sizes is, is similar, right? Yeah, it's the same sizes. Wow. Yeah. So this is some of the work. I actually had some some also some questions. I, I I'm pretty sure someone else was going to ask the same um, about yeah. the, the color color choices. Like your the yeah. colors that you use are very um, like earthy, right? Like really um, earth tones. And um, I was just wondering like how you arrived to feeling so comfortable and um, to explore the the similar kind of palettes. Like how that happened. Yeah, that's yeah. I would really ask me the same question. Actually, I don't feel like I, I know too much about color. For me, it's more like a feel the color. You know, I just jump to the work, and when I see the color, I try to just do my version of that color. But I, I'm not like a very expert person that can tell you anything, many things about color theory. But I just feel it. I feel it. I put it the way I feel it. So yeah. Thank you so much Is for sharing, for, for sharing huh? that. Thank you so yeah, much yeah. For, for, for sharing your space. Um, yeah, sure. Again, I'm very impressed by the, the diversity and how fluent you are in um, all these uh, different mediums and, and techniques. Um, like you said, there was some mono prints there. And is it, do you, is it liter lithograph or oh, screen printing? Screen, a screen printing, printing, I have on, yeah, a monotype. This is, um, this is the uh, trace way of two monotype. It's different. There are two, basically two ways of two monotype. And this is a trace way, which you have more like a texturized uh, line. It's very expressive way of two monotypes, but I like it a lot. So there really isn't one favorite um, medium or technique. It's really just a matter of, of you being able to, to draw, right? That's me. And... I, have, I need to draw, yeah. <laughs> 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 And it For seems sure. like um, where your, your workspace, your apartment, you seem to have everything you need, but do you actually, do you feel like you need, um, is there like a sort of facility that, that you need to, to find in Vancouver or resort to? I need, I need, a, I need a, um, a studio. I need it because I want to, I mean, I want to jump into bigger uh, formats, but I, 
I don't have uh, space here, so I need it. Yeah, I like work from home. I love it, but the reality is that I need, yeah, more space. <laughs> and, and Rocio probably wants, uh, wants separation of work and mm -hmm. life. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we are fighting because, um, yeah, I won't take over over the place for a studio, but she doesn't let me, so it's like a... We are working on that, let's see. No, 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 I have to find a place. So well, okay. taking, taking over <laughs> living room seems to be something that you like to do. So again, if anyone out there has a living room, <laughs> But um, oh, I mean, it's very... I some... sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Um, there's some uh, studios that um, might be of your interest. Maybe I can share with mm -hmm. that that with you after, because oh, uh, it you. is Pleasure. it is challenging to, to find space in Vancouver. Oh, um, thank you. I appreciate it. I would so, love to have to answer any question for the audience. Yes, yes. So people let's, here. Let's oh. see. We have okay. So we have. Okay, we have comments such as mm. great storytelling in the illustrations, active engagement from the spectators is needed in order to interpret them, smart symbolism. Thank you for that mm. comment. Yeah, smart. Yeah, thank yeah you. do you feel like you work with, um, um, like is symbolism important for your work? Because there's definitely, there was definitely more of that in your early work, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the influence of the humorismo gráfico, the cartoonist. Give a movement, yeah. That's big influence the symbol themselves. Yeah, I need to to create symbols or work with symbols. Yeah, is the influence. Right. Um, well, that is a very um, as as Casey mentions, it's also a very great way to engage um, re really directly with the spectators. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. We have comments like "fantastic space." Yes, totally agree. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're team living room here. Um, <laughs> And then we have thought-provoking artwork. What processes do you use? How do you determine the subject matter? And then there's more to the question, but maybe we'll stop there so that uh, maybe you can address that. So what processes do you use um, and how do you determine your subject matter? So, okay. Um, yeah. At this moment right now, I'm working on memories. So basically the subject is, 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 um, is. so I'm working with memories. I'm working with uh, photos. Um, I'm doing what I had explained before, uh, like a mental collage of different photos. I'm trying to put that in one composition. So basically I'm working on memories. But when I work uh, as a cartoonist, um, for me, it was trying to talk about what was happening in the world or in Cuba. So yeah, I had a time to be very connected and very eyes open to what uh, was happening in the world and trying to talk about it. Simple, mm -hmm. yeah. It's a, it's a very active process because uh, you can't sleep. You, you have to all the time keep thinking, thinking, thinking what to do, how to talk to the audience or, or what to say to the audience the way they can stay you, right? So you have to be very um, you know, active, active on what's going on so people can understand, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So there's there's a there's a question about medium, um, which was it was placed before we talked about it, but maybe there's something we missed. Um, so the question says, uh, do you employ uh, mixed mediums or strictly editorial illustrations? Some images looked a bit like watercolor. So um, yes, you use different. Yeah, 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 yeah. For for my watercolor work, um, even though you you can see the the watercolor. Um, the texture, but it's basically mixed media. It's mixed media, yeah. And um, yeah, I also wanted, I guess something that I wanted to, to point out in relation to that is that um, in, in your um, digital work, you also employ texture. It seems like that, that, that texture, or even like the carving at times that you might make, like it translates there to kind of like floods into it. So I, I, I appreciate that. Um, mm -hmm. And we have the answer to our question. So, ubre is cow other. I hope I'm pronouncing it properly. Oh, wow. Cow That's good. other. U D D E R. So now we know. Yeah. Not thank, a, you. Not, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Rachel, for, for that. <laughs> uh, we also have comments like beautiful. Really agree. And it. then intuition for choosing the colors. Yeah, so maybe that's what you were, were saying before, right? You just, um, you feel them and you use them uh, mm -hmm. at will. Yeah. Perfect. Sure. 
Well, thank you so much, everyone, for, for your questions. Um, you, again, if anyone wants to share anything, please feel free to. This is your, your moment. Um, uh, okay, I get about the colors again. The colors are intense and deep without being overpowering. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. really true. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. <laughs> and 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 I may just in reference to the colors as well. Like behind you, we do see um, this uh, black and black and white uh, work. Mm -hmm. So how how is that for you? Is that something that you at times need to do? Maybe at times you need to step away from the color and focus more um, on the composition. Does does not working with color help you do that? In the case mm. of the, the monograph that you have behind you. Yeah, yeah, I mean, basically, I mean, drawing process is, is a line process, right? Because drawing is line, painting is color. But sometimes after, I mean, when you draw too much, draw it during the time, you need to just start to see colors in the line. So for me, when I, when, when I need to draw, I'm not done using color, like the, the word behind me. At some points, when I get bored of drawing at the time, or without color, I jump to the color. But because it's a, it's a it's a very organic process, I guess I I get I get saturated of use too much line, and so I walk I walk to the color. After that, I jump to the line. It's very organic process. But yeah, yeah. For me, it's the same. I can tell you, I can see. I mean, after a few years working, I can see the values in the line, right? So it means you can translate that on color. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that if that answers the question. Yeah, is, that definitely makes sense. Yeah. yeah, it does. Thank you. Um, and then I completely agree. There's another comment about loving uh, the studio, this, the spaces we saw in Cuba, and that we need more spaces like that in Vancouver. Uh, yes, and that's what we're trying to do as well. It'd be like we're trying to get spaces. So thank you again, everyone, for being here <laughs> because that's definitely um, getting us closer to that. Um, thank you so much, Aimel, for for your participation. Um, we had assigned uh, an hour and a half for this call. But if we don't have uh, any more uh, questions, uh, we were, we're happy to, um, you know, to, to, to close the call very soon. Um, so, well, first of all, again, uh, Yamel, it was just such a pleasure to have you here and to mm -hmm. learn more about your work. Um, we hope that soon we'll be able to, again, do events in person and as soon as that's possible, um, mm. we were sure that we'll be able to do something else together. Um, again, for, for those who don't, uh, were not familiar to this series of events, um, this was part of a series called Open Doors to Art uh, in partnership with Curated Taste. And what we're trying to do with these events is to bring you closer uh, to Latin American artists uh, in Canada and also the spaces that support them. So please don't forget to follow us at uh, VLAC underscore CA. Don't forget to follow Yaimel at Yaimel1983. I wonder what that means. <laughs> and also curated taste. Um, Yaimel's website is yaimel.com and uh, VLAC.ca. You can find out more uh, about us. Um, your, your, again, your participation means so much to us, following us, tagging us, commenting, and, and also, of course, donations are very welcome. Uh, but if you're not uh, able to do that today, please just keep on attending our events and following us. That's very, very valuable. And so our next event is uh, a reading group uh, on February uh, the 8th, so very soon. And these, if, if you haven't attended these events yet, I highly recommend it. Uh, I, I wish I could join them more often, but I'm often uh, teaching at this time. But they are just such a great partnership between VLAC and the uh, UBC Department of Latin American uh, Studies. And I, I highly recommend you, you join. So um, Doris is going to share the link to register for this event on the chat for all of you. And we are actually going to well, Yamel, thank you once again for 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 you know for being here for showing us your space, and uh, we look forward to doing more events together, and for everyone for being here. We're going to leave the chat open for you for you to copy any any links that might be of your interest, and just looking 
if anyone. So one last comment here. Thank you. Uh, it really struck with me the heart hand, the heart and hand piece. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, and do you have any upcoming exhibitions, Jaimen? Yeah, next month I have um I'm gonna be showing the screen paintings that I was working last year in this very small studio gallery, which is um the name is slide, slide, is that like? Yes, yeah. slice, slice of life. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, great so I'm gonna be posting on social media, of course, about so you can see there. It's, um, yeah, it's gonna. Be, I think it's gonna be March 30, 30, 31st, I guess. But I have to recheck. But yeah, it's a merge. The end of the merge. So yeah. Perfect. Merge, we'll yeah. be there, um, and maybe we can do some sort of a exhibition talk or so. Oh, cool. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Uh, yeah, congrats. That's a, that's a really great space. Yes, uh, it's small, but um, they do great work there. Great, great artists. Mm -hmm. Slice of life for anyone that's curious. All right, well, that that is it. Um, thank you once again. I am going to turn off my camera. People are going to start slowly leaving. We'll leave um, this call open for a few more minutes. And thank you. Thank you so much again, Yamel. Buenas noches. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Muchas gracias. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Buenas noches, hasta luego. Buenas. Bye bye.